Hello everyone. So today we are going to be doing a video that I have absolutely no idea if anyone is going to be at all interested in, but I am so excited. So I'm currently in the Americas right now. We are in the desert and the desert has Target. And you know what doesn't have Target? The icy cold Canada. So I'm super excited because Target is just so different. Every time I go anywhere in America, I always go to Target because it has kind of like fun renditions of everything I like, like makeup, skincare, hair products. It just has all the brands that we don't always get. And I never really thought that in Canada we didn't get exported all of the stuff until I go to Target. So today I thought it would be a fun idea to give myself a Target makeover. So right now we are en route to Target and I'm gonna get makeup, outfit, hair products, oh and hopefully a fake tanner because I am very white right now as you can see. And the sun actually is not shining in the desert today which is kind of weird. I feel like I might have brought the rain. So we're gonna we're gonna have to make a fake tan then. I'm really super excited to get into Target, so let's get shopping. Do you know what the difference between a Target and a Super Target is? It's super busy. It's super busy in Super Target. <laughs> I'm super scared. Maybe mine's not pulling its weight, but like we don't have all these types. Look at this. <laughs> This is silicone! <laughs> silicone! I'm instantly off focus. Like I've instantly forgotten everything I need. Look at this. Oh wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> they have everything! For my hair, I wanted to get kind of like a hair mask and also something to style it. But I don't want like a heat tool. I want just something fun to try. Would a brush maybe be fun to try? Like a big piece of me wants this one because I love wet brushes. Now I gotta decide between soothing or smoothing. Oh my gosh, smoothing obviously. My hair needs to be smooth so much. Look at my hair. Tell me it doesn't need to be smooth. The ultimate treat yourself, Kim. This is a cake ball. That's pretty. So this is difficult to pick foundation because I don't know for sure if I'll be this shade still like after the fact of fake tanning. So I don't know. Maybe I should find a fake tanner before I dive into the makeup. Then maybe I'll have a better idea of what shade I'll be. Okay, I should probably do that. Okay, it's between this L'Oreal Sublime and the Neutrogena. I think I'm gonna do the mist just because I'm like not feeling confident in finding a tanning mitt, so that's gotta work. Oh my gosh, this is so stressful to remember everything. We're now looking for an outfit. I spotted a few things. Every time I like think I'm okay and like nobody's looking, I look up and like get direct eye contact with a stranger and I just, I just don't know. <laughs> got matching pants? Are you kidding me? Do you think a medium pant would fit me? Honestly? Yeah. Not a chance. <laughs> that is so soft. I don't know. That is so soft. <laughs> oh my goodness. Target's clothes are really cute. What the heck? You know what? I'm gonna try and stop making this work. I'm gonna get this. It won't go with the outfit though, so I'm just gonna get it for myself. Okay. All right, I think we got everything. We got makeup, hair, outfit, and fake tanner. So, all right, we're gonna check out and get out of here. And by check out and get out of here, I mean shop a little more. One eternity later. We got everything. <laughs> I'm so excited to see. What if nothing fits me? Oh, I think it will. I'm an odd shape, we all know it. <laughs> Not everything works. Also, there's music playing in the parking lot. We have no idea where it's coming from. Where is it coming from? I'm gonna go in and we are going to do the makeover. Not today, but another day. Let's flip to that. Okay, so I'm here bringing you content from my bathtub. I am in fact wearing a swimsuit because 
Well, it's probably obvious why. But I'm officially about to use all of the products that I got from Target for my Target makeover. And it's starting in the bathtub with this bath bomb. Now this has been taunting me sitting by the bathtub for so long. This is the Da Bomb Fun Size Fizzers Cake Bomb. Mm, I cannot wait for this. It seems like it's going to be smelling like a cake. So. Oh my gosh, it's so perfect. It's such a perfect circle. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the bath. All right, let's throw it in. Let's see. Oh my goodness, wow. Sprinkles are all the way at the bottom. I wonder if these are okay to go down the drain. I mean, they probably have to be. Me analyzing a bath bomb. Not really making the bath look very fun. All right, well, step one of pampering complete. Wait a second. There's something in the bath bomb. Oh my goodness, there's a little keychain in here. It's a little donut keychain. I would not have expected a donut. I would have expected a cake. I didn't even know something like this would come in here. That is so cute. I'm gonna put, put it on my key ring. So now, my hair's a mess because I was at the pool and I wasn't planning on getting my hair wet, but I did. So it's a mess right now. Oh my gosh, look at that. That needs a makeover. You guys probably saw this, but I got a wet brush. Now I love wet brushes, not sponsored, but I do really, really like them. They're just easier on your hair. A lot of you guys ask me what I do with my hair and it's nothing that special, but I do definitely swear by a wet brush, but this one looks like high tech, very aerodynamic, just how I like my brushes. Here's what it looks like. As you can see, the bristles are a lot easier, like less harsh and more spaced out, which is good for wet hair. So let me just dunk my head. <laughs> now, I don't usually brush my hair this wet, but it's a wet brush, let's try it. And I needed a new one because my brush, all the bristles were like coming out. Bristles, that was called. That pretty much concludes the bath pampering. So I'm gonna go and start fake tanning now. So I'll show you that because I got something for that. All right, fake tan. Excuse my face being so red. I actually think that I was bathing in like lethal heat levels. Like, I don't know. I don't know what got into me, but okay. So I got the Neutrogena Micro Mist Airbrush Sunless Spray in the shade two medium. Might be kind of echoey in here, but here is what the can looks like Neutrogena is one that I don't even think I've ever tried. Okay, the camera just wants to focus on me. Hello. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna lay down a towel. It's all part of getting bootyful. Just kidding. Oh, also I do have pants on. This is a sports bra and I have pants on as well, but you won't be able to see that. So, all right, let's get started. like I'm spray painting myself. One eternity later. I think I sprayed myself enough. Uh, I'll see you guys in the morning for makeup, hair and outfit. <laughs> and to see how this tan turned out. Good morning. <laughs> so here's my tan. Um, I honestly don't know. Also this collar is just, this collar is just so much. Here's the tan. It's very even, but I just don't know if there's much of a difference, might be a little bit of a difference, but I think initially I already had a bit of a difference, so I don't know what to say. I think it's super natural. It was really easy to apply because I had no idea where it was going, but okay. This is the part I have been so excited for and it's the makeup. I don't know how long it's been since I got like all new makeup and tried it all. Like this is gonna be a full face of first impressions today, so I can't wait. Also, like I said, I usually always use reusable bags, but I didn't have them yet when I went shopping here, but we do reuse these bags a few times, but I know it's still bad, so I don't usually do that though. Oh my goodness, you know what I just realized? This is a smoothing hair clay mask. I thought it was a face mask. Dang it, I'll have to use this in a different pampering video. But okay, everything's in here. You can't really see it, but okay. First things first is this clearance. Sonia Kashuk limited edition flawling face sponge set. Now these look so cute. They were at $10 and now they're $5. As you can see in here, there are two sponges, a big one and a little one. So 
I'm interested. Fake, fake sneeze. Okay, before I dive into the beauty blenders, I want to put on some lip balm. These are the EOS Evolution of Smooth Sweet Mint, and look at these. They changed the packaging to like normal lip balm. I'm so excited to try these. The egg is cute and it's really original to EOS, but sometimes it's a little bit big to fit in your pocket and stuff like that. So this new, it seems fun. So I got one for Tate because he's like a lip balm fanatic. I'm gonna open the one. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Mint chocolate ice cream. That is so smooth. All right, that's nice. Good job, EOS. I really like that. Let's see what these feel like because $5, that is way different of a price than Beauty Blender. So this one is shaped really interesting. Look at that. And then this one is a little one for under the eyes. I'm gonna go wet both of them. They actually feel very similar to the Beauty Blender. So let's see. Let me go wet these. Very, very interesting. This big one is grew a lot and also it's very squishy whereas this one is a little bit more dense. So I wonder if that is for a purpose. Okay, so the foundation I picked up was the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I've never used this foundation in my life and I'm very curious to try it out. Um, it's supposed to be pretty good. Hopefully it matches me. I wasn't sure what color I was gonna be. Wow, looks like it might. Oh my gosh, I love that. Look at that, the foundation's coming out. Alright, this sponge makes it really easy to apply. Always a sad moment to get the beauty blender dirty. Alright, I would say the coverage on that is like light to medium. I don't actually think it's that full coverage. So we'll use some concealer. I have the Maybelline Age Rewind concealer. Hopefully this is a little bit lighter than that other one was. Gotta twist this one as well. Oh wow. I really like this concealer. I think even when I did my trying 10 drugstore concealers or seven drugstore concealers, I really liked this concealer then as well. All right, I quickly have to set this and for setting, I got the Maybelline Fit Me Fair Light Loose Finishing Powder. Now I'm really excited about this because so many people swear by this as like the best drugstore setting powder and I've never had the chance to try it. I don't know if my drugstores just don't have it in my shade, but Target had it in every shade, so. Wow, it's really pigmented on the sponge. No matter what, powders are always gonna be a little messy. Am I right? All right, now I'm gonna go in with this L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. Now this is actually a powder for people with darker skin, but I'm gonna use it as a contour. Here it is, so that's gonna be very dark on me. Oh yeah, I really like that color. Ooh, that's pretty. All right, the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. Is that not so pretty? Like, oh my God, such a stunning highlight. Come on, highlight, like you mean it. Poop the nose. I'm doing this in the viewfinder, this is very difficult. Okay, that is pretty much the face. Now we're gonna move on to eyebrows. So I have been dying to open this eyebrow pencil. This is the Rimmel. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Finally. Okay, <clears throat> this is in 02 Hazel. All right, hopefully this matches good. It's got a little brow spoolie on this end. I already know I'm gonna love this eyebrow pencil. So easy to use. You would need a sharpener though, which is the only drawback, but that's not really a big deal. <laughs> my eyebrows are not matching it at all. <laughs> okay, looking over, I've got eyeshadow next. So I have this. Wet n Wild Nude Awakening Palette. This palette's really nice. Look at that. Like this was like $4. Wet n Wild's on a new level, I swear. And they're cruelty free. So I just feel myself grabbing Wet n Wild a lot. Transition color. It says transition right on it. Okay, transition. And then I'm gonna go on to the bottom lashes cause that's where it's at for me. I think what I'm gonna end up using is this one, then this one, then this one, so right on the edge. There's the eyeshadow, look how exciting. <laughs> Back me up. All right, then we got the NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner. So I'm excited about this, firstly because matte eyeliner just looks a lot better to me. So I'm excited about it, <laughs> needless to say. Ooh, why do I still look bad? 
This is supposed to be a makeover. Why do I still look bad? This isn't okay. All right, last for the makeup, I have this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. Oh my goodness, this is matte. I did not realize, okay. Get ready. <laughs> okay. That I what I did wrong. Maybe you're not supposed to put your lips together. Oh my goodness, okay, so it's been like 10 minutes and the lipstick is still drying. How long? How long do you need lip gloss? How long? Okay, here's the finished makeup look. Few critiques. I hate this eyebrow. I'm sorry. I don't want to be aggressive about it, but what is that? Okay, hair's gonna be really easy. I'm not really even gonna do anything to my hair, but I did want to show you. This is my old wet brush. Pretty nice. Here's the new wet brush. That is an upgrade, if I do say so myself. <laughs> this is kind of what I do every day. A lot of people ask me, like, what I do to my hair, and I think I'll do a video on it, since everybody's wondering, but I just feel like it won't be that exciting. But I guess there's a few things that I do that might be the reason why my hair's healthy? I don't know. Because I honestly don't pay much attention to my hair. But a lot of you ask about it, so thank you. And I'll do a video on it. I just basically, when everyone was asking about it, I had to like overanalyze what I'm doing to my hair because I've been doing it for so long. I was like, is that normal or is that something that could be benefiting my hair? So the video's coming, but just not yet. I'm gonna be using this Batiste dry shampoo. I literally love Batiste dry shampoo. Any other dry shampoo I've ever used hasn't worked as good as this does, so. I really like it. This one smells really good. This is the Fruity and Cheeky. I've never used this one. Also, they have, if you have brown hair, they have brown of this. By the way, not sponsored, but I do really like this stuff. But they do have for brown hair so that it doesn't spray like white into your hair because that could be problematic. So I like to have a little bit of volume, even though it's not that much. All right, I'm pretty sure you guys already know what I'm doing for the outfit, but I did get quite a few things. Like, I got this hat. Also, this shirt. So freaking nice. But I think the outfit I want to wear for this is definitely this romp. Romp? No, it's a jumpsuit. It's navy blue, and it's got these big buttons on it. I just think it looks so, so cute, and it's a pant romp jumpsuit and then i had gotten all these earrings to choose from but i decided that i'm going to do these ones that are at the bottom right here those ones i think would look good because the blue matches the blue in the robber and this was also on sale for how much was this ten dollars originally 20. so that'll be nice the shoes i got you guys probably remember them they are these little heels just like so and how much were these even 24.99 here they are they're nude so i'm gonna throw that outfit on really quick so we can see the finished look because right now we're in sweatpants all right so i have the outfit completely on <laughs> earrings and all honestly i'm really happy with how it turned out i don't think i'm gonna be able to show the whole thing all right, this is really showing off how messy my room is. How about we go outside? We're out in the element. Neighbors are outside. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Can you see it? Okay. It there's pretty good. Okay. All right, so that was almost impossible to get a full body shot, but I hope you guys, I hope you guys get it. Here is the shoes, just in case you didn't. The earrings. It all actually goes together pretty well, which I'm happy about. I do think that this lipstick is too dark. Maybe I'm just not used to it, but I don't know. I think that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this makeover using all products from Target. Once again, not sponsored. It really seems like it is, but it's actually not. Target doesn't know I'm doing this. I just thought it would be fun since like, I never get to go to Target. I thought it would be fun, and I love Target, so I thought it would be fun. So anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more of my videos. I post on Fridays and Sundays, and I will see you guys 
in the next one. Bye!